Hey everybody, I'm in my kitchen this Sunday afternoon. Ignore my aloe plant that's getting a drink of water in here. What I'm gonna make for you is in continuation with some Earth Month recipes to be more sustainable and use the whole vegetable, I'm gonna show you how to make a potato skin crispy little chip. So I have yams or sweet potatoes on hand that I'm gonna to use today. You can use a russet potato, which is sort of the traditional potato skin chip recipe. I haven't yet tried this with other vegetables, so I'm gonna give this a go and see how it turns out. But I imagine if you thinly slice the, the vegetable enough, you can make a similar chip. So unlike a vegetable chip that uses the flesh of the vegetable, this just uses the skin. So if you've seen carrot chips or beet chips, potato chips, they use the inside um, part of the vegetable and they discard the skin. We're gonna use the skin today. There's plenty of nutrients that reside in the outer skin of lots of vegetables and fruits, high fiber, good for your gut, feeds the microbiota. So instead of peeling and discarding the skins, make sure you eat them. And I think many people who chop and roast potatoes tend to eat the skin anyways, but if you're someone that peels it away, don't discard it, make a little chip. So that's what we're gonna do today. I need about four pounds of potato, which is like five large yams or sweet potato. If you have russet potato, use those. You'll need some cooking oil, I'm using uh, avocado oil today, which is an unsaturated fat, very similar to olive oil in its composition, but a higher smoke point. So I'm gonna use that to bake with today. You could use olive oil, it'll still hold up against the heat, but I'm gonna opt for avocado. Black pepper, some salt, a little garlic powder, and cayenne. Those are my seasonings of choice today. If you have a little Parmesan cheese, if you wanna doctor it up with that, that gives a really nice nutty, tangy, salty flavor to the chips as well. A little calcium from the cheese, but this is a good vegan alternative with still a little bit of spice. So all I need to do is peel the skins. Make sure you thoroughly wash the potato before peeling. You wanna make sure that you get any dirt and other contaminants off of the potato skin. We're gonna put them in a bowl, mix with my ingredients and bake. I have my oven set to preheat to uh, 375 and we're gonna bake them on some baking sheets. It only takes about 15 or 20 minutes. 